What a pain in the ass this job is. <laughs> My name is Dr. Rick Beck, and this is our physical facility in Hemet, California. We're located about an hour north of San Diego and about an hour east of Ontario, which is the airport that we ship and receive from. I bought this property in 1990, and since then, we've been building and planting trees. We now have a full-service equine hospital, complete with surgery room, digital x-ray, digital ultrasound, intensive care stall. We have a complete stallion barn where we collect and freeze semen from stallions, we collect and ship semen, and we have a federally approved quarantine unit where we can ship semen for export. Now we have a separate mirror facility and a state-of-the-art equine reproduction lab. We also participate in embryo transfer, oocyte transfer, and cutting-edge intracytoplasmic sperm injection, more commonly known as ICSI. Behind me, you can see a bird's eye view of part of the ranch. Uh, these are the recipient mare pens. We just ran the recipient mares in. Uh, they live in a pasture the other side of the property. We have 40 acres here. They have a 10 acre pasture they live in. Every morning we feed them in the corrals and run them in. And then we have a, a calendar of ovulation. We make a list of the mares that we're gonna check each morning. And what we're checking for is to monitor their cycle so we can tell when each mare ovulates. All of our mares uh, have an identification neckband with a number on it. The same number is freeze branded on both sides of their hip. So when each mare ovulates, she goes on the calendar so we know what mares are available for embryo recipients, which would happen seven days after they ovulate. So when we either flush an embryo here or someone flushes an embryo and sends it to us, we can go back seven days and find an appropriate recipient mare to put that embryo in. We're palpating recipient mares here. The purpose of palpating recipient mares, which we do every day, is to determine the day she ovulates. The recipient mare has to be synchronized with the donor mare, so when we get the embryo from the donor mare, the recipient mare is eligible to receive it in her uterus and it will grow, attach, and become a pregnancy. This is an ultrasound examination of a recipient mare we place the ultrasound probe in the mare's rectum and then an image comes up on the ultrasound screen which shows us what her uterus, uterine horns, ovaries and the structures on her ovaries are. So this particular mare has a nice follicle on her right ovary which is what we're looking for to tell us when this mare is going to ovulate.